At today's GSM, a new warning system proposed by Mega Scatterbomb was approved. We'll go over the details of the new system. Cosmon was nominated for mod, but staff decided not to promote him. Members will no longer be able to discuss moderator nominations in designated Discord channels after Frumple expressed misgivings over member maturity in the channels. Feedback will now only be taken through email. Two paid plugins could be on the way to the server. The vehicles and head database plugins were approved for testing on the beta server. We'll have that and all the other administrative decisions made at the GSM, plus an overview of today's project and event approvals and rejections. It's Sunday, February 14th, 2021, and this is GSM Recap from MBS News. Good day, I'm Kitty Cat 1231 from MBS News. Staff originally discussed amending the MRT's warning system at the previous GSM in January, and today the system was changed. Mega Scatterbomb's warning system proposal was adopted with numerous additions. The main structural change to warnings in the new system is that the value of a single warning has effectively been cut in half. What this means is that a single warning prior to today translates to two warnings now, but with the same level of punishment, and a single warning now has half the value of a single warning previously. This allows for staff to increase the total warning levels, allowing for players to receive an amount of warnings in between the levels that previously existed. And for any players who currently have active warnings, their warning count will be translated to the new system. So, for instance, a player who had two warnings yesterday now has four warnings today. But four warnings today is the equivalent of two warnings yesterday, so nothing about the value of their amount of warnings has actually changed. One warning previously is now two warnings, and it has the same punishment, ineligibility to rank up until all warnings expire, and the same duration of one month. Below two warnings in the new system is the new single warning, which lasts only two weeks and with the only punishment being ineligibility to be nominated for mod for three months. Staff explained that one warning in the new system is supposed to be issued for offenses in which staff previously would have issued a verbal warning, which are unofficial and not documented. Frumple did suggest at the GSM documenting all the players who recently received verbal warnings and issuing them single warnings under the new system, but staff decided against that suggestion. Two warnings previously is now four warnings, which also retains the same punishment of being demoted to member until all warnings expire and a reflection letter is accepted by the admins, and the same duration of eight weeks or two months. Players who receive three warnings in the new system, which is equivalent to more than a single but less than a double warning in the old system, will be temporarily banned for three days. However, this will not result in any other restrictions such as a demotion or reflection letter requirement, which will be reserved for four warnings. Three warnings in the new system will last six weeks, or one and a half months. Staff did decide to deviate from the previous system when it came to higher warning levels. In the previous system, three warnings would result in a temporary ban from the server. Numerically, that would be equivalent to six warnings in the new system, but staff decided to increase the punishment for that level. At six warnings, a player will be temporarily banned for the entire duration until their warnings expire and they submit an acceptable reflection letter to the admins. Six warnings will last for 12 weeks, or three months, the same duration as three warnings in the previous system. The week-long temp ban was moved down to five warnings, equivalent to two and a half warnings in the previous system, and was increased to a two-week-long temp ban. Five warnings will last for 10 weeks. And members who receive seven warnings will be indefinitely banned, with the possibility of appeal after six months, as is the case for four warnings in the previous system. The new system provides guidelines for how many warnings a staff member should issue at once for a single offense. 
failure to file appropriate paperwork with staff for certain projects, such as 4,000 block rail line rule exemptions, failing to stop spamming caps and other annoyances when asked, and other technicalities such as violations of the 7,500 block area Senator Airfield rule will result in a single warning lasting two weeks. Offenses resulting in a single warning in the previous system, including jokes and remarks in poor taste, obvious 300 and 500 block rule violations, and non-trivial land scarring will result in two warnings lasting four weeks. Minor griefing, plagiarism, and uncivil arguments will result in three warnings lasting six weeks. Offenses resulting in a double warning in the previous system, including blatant or widespread griefing, disrespect or harassment, and unnecessary escalation of an argument, will result in four warnings lasting eight weeks. And any further amount of warnings issued for a single offense will be reserved for extreme cases. We should note that warnings issued at different times for different offenses do stack. The two-week duration of each individual warning will run consecutively, and all warnings will remain active until the last one expires. So, for instance, a player who receives one warning will have their warning last for two weeks. But if they receive another two warnings while the previous warning is still active, four weeks will be added at the end of the original warning's two-week period, and all warnings will stay active until the end of the additional four weeks, even though the original warning would have otherwise already expired. In other words, the player will have a total of three warnings for the full period until the full warning duration expires. Punishments generally stack across warning levels, so a player who incurs a certain amount of warnings will incur the punishment of that level and all levels below it. The exception to that is with temp bans. Temp ban durations do not stack between warning levels. So, for instance, a member who receives three warnings will be temp banned for three days. If, while those three warnings are still active, they receive another two warnings, bringing their warning count up to five, they will then be temp banned again, this time for two weeks. However, if a member with no warnings receives five warnings instantly, they will be temp banned for two weeks, and the additional three days of the temp ban that would have been issued at three warnings is skipped. That's the new warning system. Details will also be available on the main page of the server website at minecartrapidtransit.net. Cosmon was nominated for moderator and was considered at today's GSM, but staff decided not to promote him. AP Red, Frumpel, Kyle, Mega Scatterbomb, and Tom Pears voted neutral on his promotion, and Chief Bozex, Dalt Disneyland, Echo Hue, CCC9, Skelly Zomperman, Ungins, and Vulpicula voted against. No staff members voted in favor. The final tally was 0 4, 5 neutral, and 7 against. On the topic of mod nominations, the discussion channels for candidates in Discord are going away. The channels were introduced as part of the open moderator nomination process, passed at the October GSM in response to ModGate. Starting at the November GSM, all mod nominations have been made public, and members have been invited to provide their feedback on candidates in the discussion channels for each nominee in Discord. However, Frumple expressed disappointment over members' use of the channels. Citing posts that did not include sufficient evidence, were more based on opinion, had evidence that was irrelevant or unverifiable, and were impolite and uncivil. Frumple said in his proposal that the discussion channels are, quote, not the place for any casual opinions or for people voicing their vote for, against, or neutral for a candidate. We've made this very clear in the pinned guidelines, but it seems some people have not bothered to read or understand them, unquote. Frumpel did, however, say at the GSM that staff enforcement of the rules in the channel, particularly regarding low-effort posts, was inconsistent over time, for which he apologized. Staff decided that, starting at the next GSM in March, feedback for mod nominations will only be taken through direct email to staff. All other portions of the open moderator nomination process, including public nominations and public staff voting, still remain in effect. Two plugins are on their way to the beta server, and both of them are paid plugins. Vehicles cost 10 euros and add several custom vehicles. 
The plugin makes use of armor stands and therefore does not require a resource pack for its custom models. Head Database costs 10 US dollars and provides an in game database of thousands of custom heads. Both plugins will be tested on the beta server, but some concern was expressed at the GSM on the server impact the vehicles plugin might have, so we aren't sure yet whether that will ultimately come to the main server. As far as other administrative decisions are concerned, staff officially clarified that voluntary bans are separate from and have nothing to do with the warning system. Franchises built by other people will not count towards scale in town promotion, but can influence other factors such as town ambience. And staff approval is now required to demolish or regenerate entire towns, so long as the town is big enough to be considered significant development under the rules. And before we go, here's an overview of the staff decisions on the project and event proposals at today's GSM. You can watch our full GSM coverage from today on our channel and stick around with us every month for live GSM and ISM coverage. From MBS News in Central City, I'm Kitty Catmullen 231 and this has been GSM Recap on MBS.